Real discreet. Hey, you the one wanted to do this in broad daylight. Like I said, 10 grand worth of tack lights, brand new in the box. Sweet. Still got guys in narcotics duct taping mad lights to the end of their shotguns. So you Captain OK at this? Of course. Hey, man, we're just two friendly law enforcement agencies filling gaps in our inventories. Translation, let's make this quick before someone notices they're gone. Whoa. What happened to this A-Rap? Sarge got drunk at Novak's bachelor party and dropped it in the hot tub. Pretty sure the components still work. It's not a fair trade. So, you work in the armory. That mean you're not swatting anymore? Temporary budget thing. <laughs> Translation, you pissed off the wrong people. That's the gym street I know and love. Let's just say it's a uh, to-be-continued situation. I had Customs search their database for all Israeli females who entered the country on student visas. Three women were flagged for extending their visas and then disappearing, so we dug a little deeper. These three women served in the same unit in the Israeli Defense Force. Shoshana Peretz. She arrived four months ago, enrolled at the Otis School of Design, and then six weeks ago, she dropped out and vanished. Danya Gans accepted the Loyola Marymount for political science, and then a month ago, she was gone. Tori Kavev. She got into Pepperdine. Three weeks ago, she ghosted. Now, all three of these women grew up in the same settlement here, in Ramon. It's a stone's throw from the Palestinian border. OK, I'm a believer. According to Israeli border police, each of the girls had at least one parent murdered who worked for a group by the name of the Segal Foundation. The Jewish charity here in LA? Yeah, the foundation funds the entire settlement and employs everyone in it. And the border police suspect that these girls' parents were murdered for something they were trying to smuggle over the border. Uncut diamonds. I called a friend in financial crimes. He suspects that the Segal Foundation is linked to Farbrick somehow who uses the charity to launder dirty money, but no one's ever been able to prove it. This is about diamonds, but it's also about revenge. Customs have any idea where to find these girls? No, but even armed robbers like to post to social media. These are the last pics that she posted before scrubbing the account, about a month before the robbery started. And that is Nicholas Darby. He and Shoshana were enrolled in the same class. Dee, get the team ready to roll. Did Cohen tell you about Farbrick's connection to all of this? Nope, he left that part out. Avid. Shouldn't make a habit of being seen together, just go. Why are you showing me this? She and her army buddies are the ones ripping you off. But you already knew that. Your bosses trick settlers into smuggling diamonds into Israel, telling them the profits support the homeland. It's not illegal to support a worthy cause, or is it? Once those diamonds arrived in LA, your bosses cover their tracks by killing those girls' parents. Do you have anything to do with it? Okay, here's the truth. I've never even been to Israel, okay? I'm a horrible Jew. But your bosses did order you to kill these young women if you find them first, didn't they? If I find them, I'll call you. I hate to lose a friend. If they turn up dead, you'll lose more than just a friend. Bye, Jessica. What are you doing? What are you doing with a gun? Metro Swan! Down, down, down! Take and Luther, cover the roof! Down, down! Dan, you're with me. Move, move. Down! Yeah, yeah. Go! Hands behind your back. Go. Hands Go. behind your back. Go! Go. Drop your weapon! Suspects, come your way! Drop the weapon! Let's go 
to the one side! Shoshana, don't move. Don't do it. The glass! You took quite a spill. You're lucky you didn't slice an artery. You're the one that killed my friend? You got one hell of a crew. You know, most of the men that we chase, they aren't half as tough as you and your friends. But it's over, Shoshana. Unless your pals are on a suicide mission, there's only one play here. All four of you got the same tats? Part of our pact? Never again, what does that mean? We refuse to be victims, twice. That's your parents. We know Farbrook's responsible for their deaths. We also know that through the charity they controlled that they forced your parents to smuggle blood diamonds into Israel, promised them that the profits would go to new settlements and then repaid them with bullets to the head. I don't want any more of your friends to end up in the morgue like Adina and I. Is that what you want? Family and friends is important to you. Shoshana, your silence, it's actually putting your friends in danger. They're safe from you, aren't they? The LAPD is not who you need to be worried about. If Cohen and his men get to them first, you know the torture he'll put them through. If you truly love your friends, you'll help us save them. And I promise you, we will bring them in unharmed, and your story will be heard. You're fixing it, huh? I can't believe Luca ran over it. What? He told me that... Wow. By the way, if you're uh, here to beg me to rejoin the team, you're too late. I've realized that my true calling is trying out circuit boards and watching everybody else get to do all the cool stuff. Actually, I'm... I'm, I'm here for advice. Not sure why, considering the disaster you call your love life. Well, you've been my sounding board for all of my romantic misadventures. I'd be honored to return the favor. Okay, but when I tell you this, can you please promise me you're not gonna spiral into some juvenile sex fantasy? Sure. It's about Kira. The marketing girl with the rad vinyl collection. It turns out she has a fiance, a guy, and they, they wanna recruit me into being a part of the relationship. Let me get this straight. So you're into Kira, but she's engaged to a dude and they, they both want to date you? I know, it's uh, different. Hmm. I don't even know if I want to meet him. Well, I do. I mean, any guy who's planning a wedding with his bride-to-be will also lining up a second hottie for a role in the hay with his fiance's blessing. Street, spiraling. Sorry. So what about Kira? Do you really like her? Yeah, she's funny, she's smart, chemistry's crazy. I honestly thought I found someone I wanted to get serious with, but I can't do this polyamorous thing. Okay, I'll bite. Why not? Okay, one, that's not what I'm looking for. Two, you've met my family. And as much as they love me, it took them a long time to even accept that I was bisexual. I can't imagine how they react if I brought a man and a woman over for Christmas. <laughs> You know what I've loved about you since the first day we met? You don't give a damn what anyone thinks. You're just you. Yeah, but being a third wheel in a throttle? I mean, you wouldn't be standing here talking to me if you weren't at least tempted to be in a throuple. Is that that's what we're calling it? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I mean, who knows? They could be the loves of your life. You should just do what you want to do. Don't worry about what anyone else thinks. Thanks. And I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to uh, call your relationships disasters. <laughs> well, they are. So maybe I just haven't met the right couple yet. <laughs> Here. This belongs to Black Betty. <laughs>